my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys uh, this is something that recently came up in regards to uh, with working with a client and um, I figured I would teach you guys I know oftentimes I will give uh, pointers or I will give recipes or I will give uh, very simplistic things that my clients can do uh, so that they can see for themselves um, depending on what it is that we're trying to make happen for them. And in this situation, we were trying to get clarity. Uh, the clarity was given to the client and there was a bit of, mm, let's say, uh, not necessarily believing. So I wanted to give him the option of being able to see through his own eyes uh, that which was important for him to see and to accept and to overcome. So if you're looking for a spell that is going to reveal to you certain uh, people's, you know, intentions towards you, or if you're wanting to see uh, clearly and concisely who are the people that you need to be watching out for, or perhaps wanting to see uh, who your enemies are, this is a very simplistic very easy to do spell, but it is very, very powerful. It has been um, done for many, many years. And this was a very simplistic spell that was passed down to me, uh, I want to say about a good 10 years ago. Um, and it has always been very much to the point. It will give you exactly the information that you need. Like I said, it's very simplistic to do. So what you're going to need is you're going to be needing a glass. You're going to be needing water, preferably not tap water. It must be purified water or spring water. You're going to need a black marker and you're going to be needing a bay leaf, one specific bay leaf. So um, this is a reveal to me spell. It is, like I said, if you're, whether it's wanting to know who you need to protect yourself from, whether um, as an example, you lost something and uh, there's a couple of people that you may be doubting or perhaps feeling like they had something to do with that. Um, whatever the situation is that you're wanting clarity and you're wanting to see this for yourself, um, this is a reveal spell. Like I said, it's very simplistic and to the point. Um, if you do this with faith and you do this with clear intention. Um, meaning asking specific questions, uh, I should say specific question, um, then you will definitely get your answers. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this very quickly. Like I said, you're going to be needing a glass and you're going to need to fill it up with water. As you guys know, water um, is key essential for living. And when we talk about spell work, it is a very powerful, uh, very uh, strong element that you can use or incorporate in your spells for anything that has or asks or uh, needs a bit of uh, very intuitive fine tuning with your intuition or psychic abilities, with visions, anything like that, or of that nature, water is very powerful. Um, for those specific intents. So we are going to be using water here with the glass. Now you're going to get a bay leaf and you only need one. And what you're going to do is you're going to get the bay leaf and you're going to ask the question, right? Um, as an example, if you're wanting to see uh, what your partner's true intentions or what their true feelings are for you, then you would ask, what does so and so feel for me? or reveal to me so-and-so's true intentions. Or if you're wanting to get clarity in regards to who your enemies are so that you can further protect yourself, you would write something like, reveal my enemies. Um, be very specific um, and stick with one question. Um, this is a six-day ritual that you're going to, once it has been performed, when once it has been done, you're going to leave this cup by your bed, whether it be under your bed or by your nightstand. 
uh, for six consecutive days, starting the day of the casting. And what's going to happen is that you're going to start to experience dreams, very lucid dreams, where they will reveal to you um, that of what your question is. Now, something very important that I do want to put out there, whatever the message is that comes through in your dreams, take it as is, do not doubt it, do not... Um, Try to excuse whatever it is that comes up. Um, and the reason I say this is because it is very important. It's kind of like when I encourage, you know, I encourage you guys to uh, listen to your intuition. A lot of the times it's very easy for us to receive messages, but because we're so in the waking state, right? We're so, um, think of it as a filter. When you're sleeping, there's no filter. So things are revealed to you, like I said, in a very lucid dream for this specific spouse. And uh, oftentimes when you wake in your waking state, we have a tendency of filtering out certain things because whether it's something we don't want to accept or it's something that we want to deny or whatever the situation is. And I often find that uh, because it is very simplistic, for those of you guys that have worked with me in the past or that have came to me for uh, personal readings. I am always giving nips and tricks uh, to my clients, um, witchy tips, right? And um, a lot of the times I just do it very naturally that I kind of forget to do videos for you guys <laughs> to teach you guys how to do certain spells. And this was something that recently came up where the information that was being given um, through me as a vessel of communication um, the client kind of doubted what they were being told. So I wanted, you know, the client to see with their very own eyes um, and to receive the messages as were. Uh, I felt like it would be a little bit more personal and perhaps uh, feel, I wouldn't necessarily say feel better, but they definitely will, um, or they did take uh, the message because it came through very clearly. So again, uh, if you're seeking to get some type of clarity, some type of answers, this is definitely the spell for you to do. So what we're going to do here is just for showing purposes, I'm going to write down reveal my enemies. Okay. And you're going to write that down on the or on the bay leaf with your marker as you guys can see here, reveal my enemies. And what you're going to do is you're going to get the bay leaf and you're going to pass it all over your body, all over your body, repeating the same question. Reveal my enemies or reveal the enemies, um, reveal my enemies or uh, show me my enemies, those that I must take care or protect myself from. Um, and you're going to pass it all over your body. Once you do that, you're going to hold the bay leaf in your hand like this. You're going to put both your hands and you're going to say, Spirits of divination, I call upon you in this witching hour. I ask you to reveal to me my enemies or whatever your question is. I ask you to reveal to me um, how my partner feels for me or um, are they cheating on me or whatever it is that you're wanting clarity about. Um, in my case, uh, spirits of divination, I call upon thee. I ask you to assist me in this witching hour to reveal to me my enemies and those that I must protect myself from. Allow me to see, allow me to hear, allow me to sense and receive the message loud and clearly. Once you're done with that, what you're going to do is you're going to drop the bay leaf in the water as such. And what you're going to do now is you're going to hold the glass in your hands and you're going to chant over it. Spirits of divination, I call upon you. I call upon thee in this witching hour. I ask you to assist me in revealing to me my enemies, whether they be known or unknown, reveal to them. Reveal them to me. Allow me to see clearly and concisely. Allow me to receive the messages clearly and to be able to interpret them as best I can. Reveal to me. 
So once you do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to put this by your nightstand or under your bed. This is a six day ritual. So the night of the ritual is considered the first night. From there on out, it must remain under your bed or by your nightstand. Within those six days, you will start to experience dreams, what we, uh, what we call lucid dreams. And in this process of the lucid dreaming, they will reveal to you. Take the messages for what they are. Do not doubt it. Um, like I said, a lot of the times we kind of don't want to accept the reality of certain things. It is crucial and important that when doing this process, you receive the messages and accept them as are because they are revealing to you and they are showing you um, outside of ego or outside of what you consider the reality to be. Um, it is important when doing these type of spell works to, like I said, receive the messages for what they are. Um, be mindful and be careful of doing these types of spell work, especially it's kind of like I tell my clients, um, do you really want to know? <laughs> Uh, because sometimes, oftentimes, we're not ready. We're not ready to see the truth, which is why it has not been revealed in the first place. And when you do these types of spells and you refuse to receive or you refuse to accept what is, um, things start to get a little bit hectic. Why? Because you must understand that you are invoking spirits of divination, spirits that give you clarity, spirits that give you insight that are showing you and revealing to you that which perhaps you're not ready to receive or you're not ready to see. So again, if you're going to do this, make sure that you're ready and prepared to see and accept what is. Okay, my lovelies, like I said, it's a very simplistic spell. It is a six day ritual, so it must be left in your nightstand or under your bed. After the sixth day, by then, you should have already received the lucid dreams or messages in your dream state. Once that's done, you're going to get the bay leaf, you're going to toss it, and you're going to go and um, get rid of the water um, anywhere. As an example, I do it as an offering, and I put it, um, or water, with this water, uh, my rose bushes, and I thank the spirits for assisting me and guiding me. Uh, you can do the same, or you can just toss it, flush it, whatever works for you. Um, but with spell work, I always encourage you guys, highly encourage you guys to give or render offerings. Okay, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you uh, the clarity that you seek. I hope that uh, if you do try it out, definitely come back and let us know in the comments below what your experience was. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And for those of you guys returning, thank you guys for supporting. Don't forget to like and share the video. Till then. We'll see each other soon. Bye.